Audiovisual Preservation Solutions presents EXIF Tool, version 9.38. This is Katherine Gronspell from AV Preserve. We hope you find the EXIF Tool tutorial series I have created useful and informative. We look forward to your feedback. Welcome to the third tutorial in the EXIF Tool series. For more information about this and other instructional resources, please visit www.avpreserve.com tutorials. In this video, we will cover the basics of identifying and employing EXIF Tool options. This includes option syntax, how to discover and choose options, and manipulating output for different end uses. Including options in an EXIF tool command is not difficult. You simply include the option preceded by a dash, following the tool name and before the file or directory name. But before you include options, you have to be able to find what they are and what they do. It is time to revisit what we covered in part two of this tutorial series using the manual page, commonly called the man page. To get to this documentation, simply type EXIF tool into the terminal and hit enter. Once you're in the man page, scroll down to the options section using the spacebar. You can see EXIF tool options, including those for formatting. In the left hand column, options are written as they would appear in commands in the format we discussed, a character or set of characters preceded by a dash. On the right are brief descriptions of an options function. Take a moment and browse available EXIF tool options. Included in this tutorial are some basic options that might be useful for beginning to explore EXIF tool. The first is the lowercase s option. The man page describes this option as returning a short output format. Let's open terminal and see what this looks like. To integrate the short output format option into a command, simply type EXIF tool, then a dash, followed by a lowercase s and a file name. I am already in the samples directory, so I have chosen the JPEG named image001. Here we have all the information about the file that we would see in the standard output, except formatted a little differently. Because output formats can be hard to compare within the terminal, an inset documenting standard output has been added in the right of the frame. Note the inclusion of spaces in the standard output, where they are missing in our lowercase s option output. Although this option may make the terminal output a little more difficult to read, eliminating the spaces could be valuable when we export the output to an external file, like a text file. Spacing characters can sometimes be problematic, which is why they are not suggested for inclusion in file or directory names. EXIF Tool's ability to format data without risky spacing characters is valuable for collection management and profiling. Another formatting option is the uppercase S option. This produces a very short output. We can see what this means by returning to terminal and typing EXIF tool dash uppercase S followed by a file name. Let's use image 001 again for easy output format comparison. Again, the standard output has been reformatted. All information remains the same, but is arranged differently than it is in standard output or short format. The metadata is directly next to its tag. The insert gives an overview of how EXIF Tool's standard output is formatted, and note the distinct columns and considerable spacing. The next option we will discuss is one that organizes output by tag group. This is accomplished by including a lowercase g in the command. A tag name is the handle by which a piece of information is referenced in EXIF tool. By adding the lowercase g option, we organize the output by the group that tag belongs to. Return to terminal, use the same syntax as the previous commands to see information about image 001 organized by tag group. Scrolling through the output, you can see group headings like XMP, IPTC, and EXIF centered in dashed lines above tags belonging to that group. This format allows for clear assessment of what group different tags belong to for a metadata of a given file. Focusing on group names, let's try the uppercase G option, which adds group names to the output. To see what this looks like, return to terminal and enter in the command exif tool 
dash uppercase G and the same image file we've been using, image 001. In the output, the leftmost column now contains the group name for the associated tag and values on the same line. This formatting function will be useful for when we want to export the output into a file like a CSV and have group names included. The CSV export topic is covered later in this tutorial. It is also possible to combine options, producing an output specific to whatever your end goal of using EXIF tool might be. I have selected the lowercase g and lowercase s options for this example, which we know means that output will be organized by tag group in a short format. In terminal, write the command exif tool dash lowercase g dash lowercase s and specify the file. Again, we will use image 001. Are these the results you expected? Note that the output is a combination of both options, with tag groups separated by dashed lines with group headings. The tag names are also truncated, indicating that including the lowercase s option did result in a short format output. There are lots of shortcuts on the command line, and you might be wondering if we can shorten commands with options in them by combining the options into a single string preceded by a dash. This kind of truncating is not possible in EXIF tool, but for a very good reason. When a character or set of characters follows a dash, EXIF tool interprets that string as a single entity. Because no option exists called GS, EXIF tool would return nothing. This leads us to discussion of another important EXIF tool function, the ability to print specified tag information to the terminal. When GS is written and preceded by a dash, it tells EXIF tool to print information related to the GS tag, but because no GS tag exists, it doesn't return anything. Let's look at an example of tag options. If you want to only print the file size of a file, you can do that by simply including dash file size as an option. In terminal, include only file size as an option for image 001. As you can see, only the file size tag and size in kilobytes for image 001 has been printed to the terminal. We can try this again with another type of media, this time using the video file of Fred Ott Sneeze. Again, the only tag specified in this command has been printed. The standard output of EXIF tool is the same as including an option for all tags to be printed. Tags must be specified in a command, or else EXIF tool prints everything. Now that we have seen how tag and format options work, we can learn how to export the information we specify from the terminal. Once the data is out of the terminal and in a usable file like a CSV or text file, we can map and employ this valuable information in report and workflow contexts. The option for exporting in CSV or comma separated values format is straightforward. Add dash CSV following the tool name and preceding the file name. Because you want to get information EXIF tool will provide out of the terminal, you must redirect the standard output to a designated file. This is accomplished by including the greater than sign or closing angled bracket seen following the file name. The final element of this command is the destination CSV file, which for this example is named itemprofile.csv. Because you have not named a different directory, this file will be created in your current working directory. Let's return to the terminal and type in the command. Note I am still in the samples directory. Type exifTool dash CSV, include image 001, followed by an angled bracket, with itemprofile.csv as your destination file. We have been brought back to a new prompt, but nothing is printed to the terminal. This is because all the output has been redirected by the angled bracket in our command to the newly created CSV file in the samples directory. Open the CSV in the application of your choice. I will open mine with Excel, my default CSV viewer. I can do this by typing open, followed by the file name, and hitting enter. The CSV format displays nicely, as tags and associated metadata values are well organized in the document. Congratulations, you have just created an item profile for image 1. 
You now know how to harness the tool's output function to generate item level profiles in CSV. In summary, this tutorial covered basic option syntax, how to find and employ option using the man page, and output options for exporting. The fourth and last video in the EXIF tool series will demonstrate how to create a collection profile and includes more tips on customizing EXIF tool output. It is available at www.avpreserve.com tutorials along with additional resources.